These are the tiny creators that have transformed our fashion world. Silk. And if you've ever wondered how silk is made, a silk moth lays eggs that hatch. They feed on mulberry leaves. And once they're fully grown, they begin spinning their cocoons with long, thin fibers of silk. To spin the silk, they produce a liquid protein called fibroin. It comes out of their head through spinnerets. And once that liquid makes contact with air, it hardens, forming silk fibers. But in order to harvest the silk, the worms are killed. The cocoons are placed in boiling water with the worms inside. This is what loosens the silk strands. Then the fibers are unwound from the cocoons and spun into silk. It's actually a very difficult and delicate process. You have to be very highly skilled. So we're going to take these baby worms and grow them into moths. We're going to house the moths so that they can procreate. We're going to try to make babies that then we take their cocoons and make silk, but I'm going to try to do it without killing them. It's so fascinating how insects can produce complex materials using specialized biological processes that we as humans find monetary value in. So come back for update.